Hi, this is PJ Cook. Today's watercolor demonstration is how to paint people. And this is number two because my first blog post on painting people was in 2013 and was one of my most popular blog posts. So I decided to do a new video on painting people too. So uh, let's get started here. I'm going to do three figures on a beach, a woman, which I'm starting here. You'll notice that I'm accentuating uh, a, a gesture, a stance with these figures so that they don't look as static. I'm using mostly raw sienna with a little permanent rose. This here is uh, a boy in the a uh, little bit further away. I pretty much use any paint that's on my palette. And I'm using a fairly large brush. This is a uh, Winsor Newton number eight round. <clears throat> and you don't want to use too small of a brush because you're just looking to make as few brush strokes as possible. Here I'm starting the man, just quickly drawing in uh, his head and neck and then I start right in with his body. He's going to be throwing a ball, so I am looking to add motion with his stance. So when you paint, just try it, do it with as few strokes as possible. And then try not to go back in, because it just will look muddy. Just laying in uh, his bathing suit here with probably ultramarine blue. Adding a little shadow to the back of his hair. Softening the edge a little bit. I kind of like to elongate the legs a little and not do too much with the feet. I just think that that looks better. Now I'm going to uh, just paint in a, a small red ball. So I'm, I'm telling a little story here. You look at this and you, you kind of know what what's happening here. I'm going to go back in and paint the bathing suit. <clears throat> now that uh, the paint is dry, or mostly dry, you can see it's still a little wet. Now again, I have a pretty large brush. There I have dried my brush and I'm pulling out a little of that color just to create a little highlight. Little shadow on the ball.
just a little shadow on the back of her hair. I'm not going to do too much with the boy in the distance. You really don't need a lot of detail. I mean, you can look at that and you know what it is. Just quickly laying in some beach sand. I've got that one inch flat brush there. Just sweeping it across, holding it fairly flat to the paper. Skipping spots. Now here's the shadows. I'm using a kind of a violet, probably mixed up a little ultramarine with a little of the rose that's on my palette, and just laying in rather flat looking shadows. I do like to put my shadows in with, with a one inch flat brush. I decided I needed a little bit more on this figure. So again, just taking that large brush. I added uh, her left arm there. And now I'm going to just fix this. Oh no, wait. I am decided to add some spatter at this point. There's a lot of texture, sand texture at the beach, water. So I just spattered some of the raw sienna against my finger that was uh, tapping the brush. And now I'm da just dabbing some of the excess up. Just creates a little texture. I decided to fix her waist a little bit. Notice the angle of her shoulders versus her hips. Added a little shadow to what her leg and I'm going to fix her suit there. Again I dried my brush and I'm just pulling a little of that paint out there. And right there. And I'm going to leave that just like that. Pulling out another highlight. Just adding a few shadows. I'm going to finish up with uh, just a little water. So the ocean, they're at the beach. Just same, same as the sand, just in a, a light blue. Just adding in a little water in the background. And there's a, a little story of a man and a woman and a, a boy playing ball at the beach. Please uh, follow my tutorials here on uh, youtube.com, PJ Cook Artist, and you can subscribe to my channel, and also sign up for my newsletter, pjcookartist.com. Thank you.